DIY designer. For those of you that are new, I'm Orly. I'll be your host on this uh, DIY extravaganza. I'm stoked that you're here. Today is a killer episode because we are gonna be making one piece, no seam, wrap dress, beach cover ups. And you have to say all of those things when you describe it. All 45 words. The first time I saw these was years ago and it was made famous, I think, by Victoria's Secret, or at least that's how it came into my view. Bahati Prinsloo wore, uh, was like probably the model that was most well known for, for wearing it and modeling it. And it's just really cool. The fact that it's one single piece with the little straps on the side and it wraps around your body, it's so cool. It's great on plus size, it's great on my size, it works for all ages, and it's perfect this time of year when we start going on vacation and getting ready for the summer. Now, I will tell you that I think all of them have an inherent flaw. One big flaw that none of these bastards thought about. But I did. I mean, it's a little tooting my own horn, but doot doot. Uh, we're gonna come up with a way to actually create a strap that goes across the back as well. A nice thin strap that's gonna hold it in so that the bust is not only gonna fit better, but it's gonna feel better. You're not gonna feel like it's falling off your shoulders, which is normally the problem with these. So it's a really great project. Um, it would help if I would shut up and just get to it, wouldn't it? All right, materials. All right, let's discuss how much fabric you need. So because this is custom to your body, you're gonna take a measurement on your body. Take your uh, measuring tape and wrap it around the back of your body. You want it to start low right about there, that's where the, the drape is gonna be in the back. Now, take one side to right about here. This is where the dress will create that V-neck. So hold this side there, pull it tight on one side until you're at the right place in your back, and pull it back up. You want it to be draped, so you don't want it to be tight like that, you want it to be draped. So that gives me 56 inches. So since I'm, my measurement is 56 inches wide, the fabric that I bought is actually 60 inches wide. So for me, if I want it to go to the floor, I would probably need at least two yards, right? A yard is 36 inches. So I actually want to sketch out for you guys the pattern because it's all made out of one piece of fabric with no seams. And when you see me cut it, it's going to make no sense because it's really confusing just laying flat. So I want to sketch it for you. So take a look. This is our fabric, okay? This is the top of our dress, this is the bottom of our dress, and these are our sides. What you're gonna do is fold the dress in half, and that way you're cutting this at once, but basically we're cutting like this on either side. However, when this is folded in half, you cut it once and you end up with both. This is your back, and this is your front. So we end up adding straps just like this, and then it will wrap around us. I'm also gonna scoop the back a little bit, and round the front a little bit. So all of this in here, this is our pattern with our spaghetti straps that go around to wrap around our body. All right, so I've got my fabric and I'm just folding it face to face, pinning everything so that it doesn't move when I cut and also cleaning up all my edges. This is one of those great fabrics that cuts clean and doesn't fray and so I'm gonna use all those raw edges so make sure to cut nice and clean. These are the armholes that we talked about. So you cut once, cutting both out, and obviously that is where the straps will attach. Now I'm doing the little scoop out that we talked about. It's gonna create a nice angle in the front and just a slight scoop in the back. Just make sure you don't go that low. This next part is entirely optional. If you wanna create a curved hem so that the back is slightly longer than the front and then it kind of like crisscrosses on an angle and opens a little bit in the front, you're gonna do this next step, which I'm gonna do. If you do not want that and you want a straight hem all the way across the bottom, ignore this step and leave it as is. Right now, you're done. But I do want that curve, so that's what I'm doing right now. You just start at the top and just angle it all the way towards the back. I bet that pattern looks like nothing. It's one big piece of fabric, so I'm sure it's confusing. I wanna show you where we're at. Take your fabric, put it in the center of your body. One side, this curve that we did, is that armhole right there. Okay, so we're gonna attach a strap from front to back. So right now I'm just pinning my straps into place with a safety pin because this is the moment when you'll adjust the fit with the straps. Pin one side to the front and back and use that one side as a guide for your second so that you're nice and even. So the way that this works, you take this side, lay it over, take this side and wrap it around your body, 
and then it crisscrosses in the front. So this is the time to adjust your straps. Keep what's in the back because obviously it's harder to adjust that. And you wanna pull this up so that it's laying in the right place. In it, do the same thing to the other side. This is when you're adjusting the fit and the straps really dictate the fit. Pin it. I just adjusted the straps a little bit. This is something you definitely wanna do in the mirror. So I just scooched on over to the mirror and adjusted it. What you wanna make sure is that you get this really nice drape. You don't want this to be tight or it's just like not the right look. So you wanna make sure, that's the reason why when you measure yourself going across, don't pull it tight. You wanna make sure that it's kind of got the looseness. That way not only does this have a really nice drape, but this whole part can hang. So now what we need to do is just sew in all of the straps. What I would recommend is if you can buy a fabric that can cut clean, I personally am leaving mine raw. I know that a lot of you guys who are like expert sewers, this is gonna drive you nuts, but I just like things raw. So I'm leaving all of this raw since it cut clean, but in the front, I'm keeping this overlap. All right, so there you can see my armhole. I'm attaching the strap to the front. And on the front side, I wanted to line it all the way up to the very edge, but sew it on the inside. That excess is what's gonna fold over so that in the front on that little V-neck, it's gonna be folded in. You're not gonna see the raw edge on the front. On the back one, however, I actually wanted this strap to be sewn on the outside because I thought it would look pretty. I liked the way it looked there. And then the excess, you're gonna angle perpendicular so that it goes in when you wanna tie it in the back, which is how we're gonna adjust that fit. So once everything is pinned, just sew it all into place. Those again are my two back straps. So what I decided to do was just to cut them and re-sew them on instead of just like bending them and sewing. I just cut them and sew them. No big deal. Sew everything down so it's nice and clean. Trim your excess and you're done. We're ready. I finished it. I'm very excited to try it on. Hopefully it's fabulous. Be right back.